Good afternoon, YouTube. Your man, always George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bounty Ben Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, it was on my social media, just doing a little checking, you know, surfing. You know, not much to do. It's just, it's a quiet day. I just got back from the doctor's office, you know, and I'm all right. I'm good. It's a little, a regular little thing I had to do. Anyway, I saw posted one of my um, Facebook friends, a lovely lady, is celebrating her birthday, and this is one Miss Pam Franklin. Now, Miss Franklin has been a competitive bodybuilder for quite some time. Now, she started her career, I would say, about the early 80s. And that was back then when we feel about it, it had a look to them that was, I think, well, was, I think a classic look. I think um, it's a lot more, I think the look that I think that it's, uh, the IFBB and other um, organizations wants to go back to, but you can't go back to the past. You got to keep going forward. And she's an amazing lady. Um, after a while, she took some time off and she started to settle down and start a family, you know. And, you know, you got to expect that, you know, she wanted to, you know, be a mother and a wife and, you know, and that's a good thing, you know, and every, every person should have the opportunity to enjoy life as, as anybody else should. So after a while, her kids got older, she started to come back into bodybuilding and she started competing again in around about the 2000s and she competed mostly in the masters and as an amateur and then eventually she earned a pro card around 2011. And she, you know, she's from Texas. It's a, you know, Texas is a great state for bodybuilding. She's here with the legendary um, Betty Pariso. And after a while, she, you know, when she finally got a pro card, she competed. Her first show was in 2014, which was the, I think, it was the Pittsburgh Pro Masters. And she, I think she did pretty good. She, I think she made the, I was trying to check her record. It's hard to find a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I think she did pretty good at that show. And later on, she competed in her next show, and that's 2015, when she competed at the, um, uh, Masters Classic, the Masters at the um, Texas Pro, which was at the time was the start of the um, Ryan's Phoenix with San Antonio. And after that, there was, um, it was, she was up in the air. I follow some information where she said she was thinking about coming back and competing in 2018 because she was dealing with injuries and stuff. But after 2018, not much is said. I mean, you know, she's on, she has a Facebook page, but she's not as active, you know. And I don't, I don't know if she's on IG or not. I try to search for an IG. But here she is with um, Patty Corbett at the uh, 2015, um, you know, uh, Master Show in Texas. I think it was Galveston, I remember, or which one? San Antonio. And here she is with, um, with another lady in, in a sport of bodybuilding. But, you know, she um, is one of these ladies who are, you know, just unsung, you know, especially in the sport of bodybuilding. Now, she traveled a lot during her time in so many different countries and places. And even, you know, still competing, you know, enjoying the life she has with her, with her husband and her family. And you got to respect her for that. You know, she, you know, she has a passion for the sport and a passion for life. And that's a great thing. Well, I know that she's also, um, she's, you know, she's been married for her husband, um, for quite some time and her two kids, Luke and, um, Whitney are happily married. I think, no, I think Luke's not married because I, I saw on his Facebook, he's single, uh, maybe by now he's already And Um, she, and, um, Whitney is married. And also, she's a grandmother because I think her son Luke has two children. But um, this is a family that uh, work out together, love together. I gotta respect that. And maybe someday, um, you know, time and right, if she feels like she want to come back, it's been almost a little over, you know, seven years since the last show. She may should come back. You never know. There's a lot of women who are of age who still compete. If she has a passion for it, that's a great thing. But like I said, I always want to say happy birthday, Miss uh, Pamela Franklin. Uh, Mrs. Pamela Franklin will get great, and I hope she's enjoying it with her family, her friends. Um, I would love the opportunity to talk to her. You know, I've been Facebook friends for some time, and I hope uh, I'm gonna post this video on her uh, on her um, social media, and maybe if she watches it, and if she can, she can reach me on on, on Facebook because we're Facebook friends, and we can have a talk. I, like I said, I love talking to these ladies that are who have been in the game for quite as long as she has, who have competed and seen it and done it. You know, as I said again, they had their feet and the boots on the ground, ten toes down. But I want to say happy birthday to Miss Pam, and I hope she, like I said again, she joined it. And um, much respect to her and all the ladies who compete in the sport of bodybuilding. Anyway, this is me, all the way George Page, aka the Emperor from Bodybuilding Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.